Hey guys, it's the in this episode, let me show you how you can create a table view with cells that animating in very very fun. Now, table view is the world's the, the most popular UI that ever used in iOS. You see, if you want to view a to-do list app, you use table view. If you want to display a list of items, table view. If you want to display a list of posts in your social network app, you use Table view. Table view is used everywhere in iOS. Yes, it's very, very customizable with custom table view style. We already talked about that in the last in another episode. Um, but it's kind of very hard to make your app really stand out in the app store because every app just have table view, a list of things. You scroll up and down, up and down. But it's not really making your user interactive making your user standing with the ui so it's very it turns out very very easy to animate cells it creating a sense of aliveness a sense of playfulness for your app below this video you'll find out a link for you to download the the startup project that I prepared for you on the TV cells already lying we'll just talk about how we can animate things into the app and as always yes when you go and download the complete project startup project I will send you my new iOS course as my thanks to you for checking out the coding our shell you will love it so let's go into the startup project download it now and go into the demo all right guys, so here is how our starter project looks like. It is a tale of you displaying some of the quoting out episodes that fetch from adjacent data and displays on the tail view. And it is, this tail view is very nicely done because it has a card view cells. If you don't know about card view, check out the previous episode, all right? Now, here we go. The table view right now the if you see that it's like just like normal every TV cells right and we don't have any interaction into that we don't have any aliveness and any playfulness in the app so let's change this thing around let's change this thing so that it's this like like our complete project here we can change this we can have the cells animating flying in and it's just like fading in it would just not display right in front of your users so let's do this let's change things around i will go over the episode's tail view controller which is the controller for our um, tail view sound, tail view over here the method that you want to do this is you want to configure some of the properties of the cell itself right because we are concerning about each of the cell and the method we want to do is count will display cell tail view will display cell it is a ui tail view delegate method so i will go over the mark on ui tail view delegate you can find it over here ui tail view delegate and below the tail view the select row and at index path we will just count will display oops not footer but will display view uh cell like that all right and you just saw that you can also change the good display footer and i think i saw you will display header also so we'll display cell how we can do this well the first thing is we have to number one set the initial state of the cell and then number two we will use ui view animation method to change to the final state of the cell okay let me uh, let me make this clearly now the initial state of the cell is the state that it will animate to so let's say you want to fade in right so it has to go from nothing um the alpha is zero and then it goes to alpha is one the alpha is like the opacity of your view so in order to do that we have to set the alpha cell the alpha to be zero for the initial state and then we want to animate the cell into uh, see through into completely uh, clear so ui view i will use ui view dot animate with duration animations like that and the duration here let's just use one second 
and the animation let's press enter we have a closure this closure we can put in code in here this closure is the thing that it will execute it will do its magic UI view animation will do its magic so that it will animate it will change this alpha um, like slowly um, gradually right that's the word I'm looking for so sell the alpha equals 1.0 so now if you run the project now let's run it now and you find out that the cell will not just display it anymore it's fading in see that it's fading in like that that's cool right that's cool you see that it's fading in very nice it's fading like that now the next thing you want to do is just not just like fading in let's say we want to fly in we want to animate in we want to slide the cell in how we can do that well we can change um, the transform of the layer of the cell well what's that well, in order to do this, let's create a rotation transform. Let's rotation transform, or let's just call that transform, equals to a CA transform 3D um, translation, just translate, right? Translate. And this thing is the T, hey, this thing, uh, it is like the, the, the derivative of the TYTZ, TX, TY, TZ. You can find out the documentation here. I don't want to go to the math, but the T here, let's just use the CA transform identity. Transform 3D. Um, gosh, I didn't spell it right. Transform 3D identity, like that. And the X here, the X here is the states, the initial states, right? Of of what of the cell so if you set it the x the x is this coordinate right the y is the y is here and the z we have also the z the z is pointing to your face to our face so if you set the x to like uh, negative 500 then we'll shift to the left of 500 if you make it to y is z, um, 20 so we we'll shift down 20. If we make it negative 20, we we'll shift up 20. If the Z you change it to 500, it will shift to you 500 points. Okay. So now let's change this. The X here let's change negative negative to 15. The Y let's make it 20, and Z I will put it zero. And then in order to have this transform apply to the cell, we have to set the cell dot layer dot transform to be this transform all right so now if i run the project right now let me show you if i run the project right now on iphone 6s okay there's nothing happen there's nothing happen because we haven't changed the the animation of this so let's change the animation let's do it cell dot layer dot transform to be uh, CA transform 3D identity. Okay, so it will change to the original space to to the uh, right to the original state. So now let's run it, and there we go. It's slicing. It moves in very nicely. Right? See that? All right. Very beautiful. Gosh, see that? Now. I want to issue a challenge for you as always as every episode in the Cornell show and also in the Volpo's Academy that we have core challenges for you to practice with this. I want to challenge you to think if you like you see every time you score it, no matter the view is viewed or not, no matter the view is already seen, it still slides in, it still moves in very nicely but sometimes too much animation will cause some trouble will make users confused will make users like hate it so i want you to challenge you to find a way so that you only animate the cells that haven't been seen or haven't been generated all right guys that's how you animate cells in Tailview. it's quite simple right implementing just one single method but the secret here is that will display cell method delegate method in Tailview. and remember that 
What I'm showing you here is just very simple implementation. You can do crazy, I mean, creative stuff with the table yourselves. Things like you can animate thing in, you can slide in, slide to right, left and right, slide up, slide down, rotate it, put it out, pops it out, bloom it, I don't know, but could be creative with this. Let me know how you implement this, how you are planning to implement this, or if you have any question in the comment section below. Just post your question, post your comment, post your ideas, how you are going to use this feature in your app. I would love to hear from you. Just post your question in the comment below and I will personally reply. So don't, don't forget that when you download the stock project, there will be a com uh, there I will send you another emails in a couple of days and in today in a couple of days I will send you my free iOS course I create for you my new iOS course that is like hours of training I create for you so I hope that you enjoy that and I hope that I will see you in that course so as always go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world go check out that course.